Hello, my name is Omar Rampasad. It is it is April twenty second, two thousand and nineteen, at four forty nine p.m. in Toronto. So, I'm going to show you today's uh, sampling of the signals around my body, and oh, here we go my hand, the air, and it's turned down quite low, but I am still being tracked. If you notice, um, the signals are not being picked up around my body, it's just being picked up when I aim the detector at spots on my body. So the readings are quite low. So that's uh, today's sampling. Um, I was actually uh, pulsed last night and I tweeted about this. So. Um, last night, um, there was a lot of pulsing between the legs and there were comments outside my window about what went on last night. So, um, there was, uh, comments about being raped last night, um, and about being softened up and the next time it's going to be a real hand inside of her. And because there was this sensation of um, the in and out motion. Um, and what it is really is a signal similar to this that maybe um, using sound technology, uh, haptic technology that will allow touch, the feeling of touch and pressure. So uh, if you aim such a beam between the legs, you don't have to have your legs open. It will penetrate. It will penetrate the openings in your body, your ear, your nose, your mouth, your genitals. Um, and uh, it will penetrate um, a man's penis as well. The openings doesn't have to be big. It could be any opening at all because these are, these are signals that will go through any opening. Um, so, uh, there was a, another uh, point I wanted to make was that since, um, I meditate, so, um, and for people who meditate, they will know that once you start meditating and you get to a deeper level, a deeper level, um, your, um, your, um, subconscious comes into the conscious field. So you have really um, no secrets to yourself. By that I mean, whatever it is you're blocking, if you have a trauma and you're blocking the emotions that are associated with that trauma, um, when, you, when you meditate and you go deep inside yourself, the emotion comes out. So if you're, um, sometimes people disassociate. If there is disassociation, it, there is a reintegration um, and, uh, you, you know, so there is no disassociation by the time you're finished, um, doing that meditative therapy. So there is no splitting, uh, if you have a really, really bad traumatization ongoing, the personality will split. So this is part of the MK Ultra programming that is built into the community targeting program. So, um, this same idea about meditation reintegrating um, along the same lines, uh, meditation will also deprogram. Uh, in other words, if, um, and today's technology, very common now, people are talking about changing brainwave patterns by pulsing signals into your head, uh, certain parts of your brain. Uh, and uh, changing moods and doing all sorts of therapy with just with uh, signals. 
um, electromagnetic signals. This is mainstream now. This is not hidden. It's not something that uh, that uh, um, people don't know about anymore because 5G is coming and we have self-driving cars, which are all frequencies. It's based on frequency. So this is uh, very, this is accepted knowledge. So uh, this is not conspiracy, you know, at all. At this point in our, um, in our, um, uh, 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 um, our social advancement in technology. So uh, the um, the uh, the programming that's part of the MK Ultra embedded um, mind control program that's part of the community targeting program is just a t um, um, it's just taking off from. Um, uh, the, the mind control uh, or the mind, con um, the mind uh, manipulating technology used to do therapy. It's just the negative side of it. So um, if somebody, once you realize that and it's becoming more and more mainstream and uh, just everyday knowledge, once people realize that mind control by an external force, it's going to be impossible. It's going to be completely impossible because you would know how to negate the effects of criminals, and this is going to be a new type of crime that's going to be happening. Um, right now, we uh, um, these crimes are being perpetrated um, on targets, quote unquote, targets. But you don't have to be on a list for criminals to attack you this way. And uh, the video is stopped. But I'm going to continue talking. Um, you don't have to, your name doesn't have to be a on a list and you don't have to be a target for criminals to, um, to target you. I mean, just like a thief will steal from anybody, given the opportunity, um, somebody um, given the technology um, who has a criminal mind is going to hack into anybody's brain from which he thinks he can extract relevant information, information that he's interested in. You don't have to be on a list. So. Um, as an example, you have traffickers, lots of money, trillions of dollars. They have access to the technology. Um, uh, you know, kids, they want to recruit kids. Kids are a big, um, a big commodity. Um, so they would use this technology on kids. Don't have to be a target. Absolutely don't have to be a target. So this is the crime of today, not of the future, but of today. So. I guess I was trying to make a point, and the point is these things are reversible. Mind control by manipulating uh, frequencies of the brain, um, these things can be reversed. It can be negated. So um, a lot of the uh, community targeting program is based on fear and intimidation. And the intimidation is, uh, you know, we're going to pulse your genitals with these technology and, uh, and, um, and have you act out when you're sleeping. Because when you're awake, you have control. Uh, but we're going to make you sexually addicted, quote unquote, by pulsing your genitals and, and giving you all these um, funny images at the same time and program you that way into becoming some sort of a sex slave or a prostitute. These things doesn't have to work once you realize the simplicity of the technology behind it. The bamboozle is make you think to make you, you the target and of course by making the target public, making the public think that it's the sophisticated technology that you can, can't do anything about and you're totally at the mercy of these criminals and you're going to be totally mind control 
Well, this is not true. There are ways of shielding yourself. There are ways of exposing what's going on. There is ways of uh, reversing the effects of these technologies, the mind control side of it. Now, if somebody pulsed you with a laser and take your eyes out, then that's not reversible and that could be done. Uh, if somebody um, increases the power and hit your kidneys and take your kid kidneys out, that's not reversible. And this is being done, especially on targets, but this is being done, um, you know, uh, uh, as a crime, just like people use a gun to, to commit crimes, lasers are being used to commit crimes, electromagnetic technology is being used to commit crimes, haptic technology is being used to commit crimes. It's just not being talked about as much, and it will be very soon. Once 5G is rolled out, and we have self-driving cars, and people uh, starting, uh, um, start to realize the technology behind what, um, how the cars sense each other, and, and, um, and, uh, and uh, what is needed to boost the signals to, be, to make those signals strong enough to allow the cars to talk to each other and uh, to be manipulated um, through sensors and it, uh, that enables a car to drive on a street safely. Once you understand how that works, you will understand that that same power that could be boosted around a car to allow those signals to be transmitted and received the same thing could be happening around your body because these antennas is going to be very close to your body. They have to be. So an increase in power is going to affect your body. It's going to affect your moods. It's going to affect how your cell works. Uh, it's going to affect your, um, your, your brain um, um, electrical uh, impulses uh, in your brainwave frequencies. Um, uh, it's going to change your brainwave frequencies. Uh, it's just going to affect your physiology. And people are going to start to realize that this is not an environment that we were meant to live in. Because uh, let's face it, our bodies haven't yet evolved to the point where it could withstand this bombardment, this constant bombardment of these signals that alters our physiology without causing disease. I mean, it will cause cancers, heart attacks, um, and all the other fallout diseases as a result um, of, um, of the changes in our body, diabetes, um, arthritis, mood changes, mental illness, depression, and so on. These are all going to be, um, these are all going to be um, diseases that we're going to be dealing with more and more as 5G and, and they're actually talking about 10G being rolled out. So just as an example, I'm just, I'm not saying, uh, you know, um, it's a bad thing that we have, we, we, we're going to have cars that drives itself. Um, is it necessary? Good question. But uh, is it necessary to have our fridge, talk to our phone, talk to our TV, talk to our car? Is it necessary? And where does that leave human beings? Um, so it, it, there's, a, there's a bigger picture to be taken into account there. But uh, back to the community targeting program and, and, uh, and the technology as far as mind control and as far as training um, people to become whatever it is they want, they being the perpetrators want them to become. Not only sex slaves and prostitutes is this being used for, it's, uh, it could be uh, um, drug addicts, it could be, um, it could be uh, criminals, uh, it could be rapists and killers like Paul Bernardo. I mean, who's to say that Paul Bernardo was not a mind control victim? Who's to say? Um, it could very well be. It could very well be that somebody decided to experiment and see how far it was going to go. Um, I know I'm being experimented on because a community targeting program is an experiment. Getting several tickets to have me picked up for a mental evaluations 
for several mental evaluations throughout the years is experimentation because none of this has ever been disclosed to me. I'm tweeting about the harassment as a result. I'm hearing about um, announcements being made about myself. I'm hearing about court uh, hearings about me. I'm hearing about uh, perfect strangers signing me out um, and um, submitting reports about me, that, which means that I have to be uh, monitored. Uh, these, these things are all part of an experiment because if it wasn't, I'd be told about it. So if I'm being experimented on and these signals are on my body, demonstrates that I'm being pulsed with signals, I'm being experimented with using these signals, these electromagnetic signals that causes pain. Who's to say that somebody decided that Paul Bernardo was going to be an, uh, an experimentee and see how far it goes and, and, and sacrifice all these young girls that he, uh, that he affected and killed and raped. So um, I just wanted to put a positive spin on all that stuff that I tweeted about. There were several links that I posted, uh, a few links to um, the Masonic influence uh, on our society. And uh, there were some parallels about, um, um, about the way the community targeting program is being run uh, to the way the, the, um, this Masonic approach to life, um, to, um, to, um, to operating in life, uh, there seemed to be some sort of a parallel between the two. Um, you know, bamboozling people, everything will be revealed at the end. Compartmentalization. Because my brother told me that um, you're going to be told at the end what's going on because I asked my brother about what was going on. And before he died, he said to me, you're going to be told at the end. He never told me what I was going to be told at the end, and at the end of what. So there is a conspiracy going on, and there is experimentation going on in my case. And uh, if it's happening to me, of course, it's happening to other people who are saying that they're being experimented on, most likely. Because there is no mental illness here. Absolutely no mental illness. Talk to you another time.